Hey guys, it's Joe for PocketNow.com, and you know, I told you in my last video, one of the things I really like about Android is the ability to customize that. You can't get much more custom than getting rid of the ROM, the actual operating system and all the programs and everything that came with your phone, and replacing it with something completely custom. Something built by the developer community, customized, tweaked, and deployed so that you can easily put that onto your phone. See, but there's the trick easily for one person isn't easy for someone else. And I've kind of shown you that with, you know, going into ADB and flashing over ROMs and using Fastboot and blah, blah, blah. You know, it's not easy. Going into the recovery console and flashing a ROM that way, a little bit easier, but still kind of complex. So what can you guys do that either don't like getting your hands that dirty, or maybe guys like me who just like being able to flash stuff all the time one after another, really fast succession, without having to remember all of these command prompts and being able to uh, to plug into a laptop whenever you need to do it. Well, in that case, there's ROM Manager. There are two versions, a free version and a pay version. And if you like to flash ROMs, this is really, really going to help you. Let's go take a look. All right, so ROM Manager Let's do some vocabulary first, all right? A ROM in this context is basically the collection of stuff that makes your phone work. Now, that stuff is your kernel, it's the operating system, which is Android itself, it's drivers, it's uh, configuration files, and what other, uh, whatever other apps are included by the ROM developer themselves. Most of the time, ROMs come from the hardware manufacturer, in this case HTC, and they're customized by T-Mobile. Now that's usually, at least in this case, yours might be Sprint or Orange or Rogers or somebody else. So all these carriers will tell the, uh, the manufacturer, hey, we want to have this stuff. You know, We don't want to have Wi-Fi tethering, we want to have all this bloatware, yada, yada, yada. And all of that is rolled up into the ROM. Now, most of you already knew that, but for those of you who didn't, now you do. There are some custom ROMs out there like we've talked about many times in the past. My favorite is Cyanogen Mod ROM. And before, to be able to flash those, that's the process of installing them on your device, basically overwriting what you currently have and replacing it with what you want, you had to boot up into recovery mode. And then from recovery mode, you had to go in and flash the, uh, the ROM file. Uh, if you had a custom recovery, like Amon Ra's recovery, or like Clockwork Mod, it was very, very easy. Uh, whereas if you didn't have one of those and you were just doing one of the stock ones, it was more difficult for reasons we're not going to go into. So what we're here to talk about today is ROM Manager. ROM Manager is by Kush and it's actually uh, the same guy who has uh, written Clockwork Mod for us. So while we fire that up, what this lets you do is a whole bunch of things. We'll talk about some of the stuff and we'll just breeze over some of the other stuff. So I'm going to go through everything kind of really fast up front and then we'll come back and do some of the funner things. First and foremost, this lets you flash Clockwork Mod Recovery. If you don't already have it, or if you're running some other uh, recovery ROM, you can do this right here. Even if this is your stock recovery ROM, if you are running on a rooted phone, you can go through and flash recovery uh, this recovery image right here. It's a piece of cake. It's pretty much one touch follow the prompts and you're done. You don't have to worry about naming it, putting it on the root of your SD card, doing it through uh, through Fastboot. Piece of cake. This this is almost too easy. Next one down, and now you need to get into recovery, so tap that, reboot into recovery mode, it'll ask you if you're sure you want to, you go ahead and do it, and what do you know, your phone boots up, you're in recovery mode, and you can do all of your recovery uh, tasks and processes from there. So, really cool. Next section down is ROM management. You can install any ROM from the SD card. Doesn't matter what the location is on that SD card, you can pick it from here, which is a huge improvement over the stock recovery ROM, where it has to be at the root of the SD card, and it has to be named update.zip, not update.zipzip, uh, which that just made about half of you laugh out there. Next one, download ROM. We're going to come back to that. Check for a ROM update. And it shows you that my current ROM is Cyanogen Mod 6.1.0 for the Vision, which is the code name for this device. 
I can go in and check for an update to that and it'll go out and see if there's a newer version of Cyanogen mod uh, and do it relatively quickly. Of course it also does that uh, in the background as well intermittently so I'll be notified of uh, an update every couple days if there is an update it'll check for me. So really cool. What if I uh, have a theme, for example? Now, a theme is a customized ROM file. It basically sits on top of your existing ROM, and it replaces key things like uh, config files, prop files, uh, icons, uh, you know, stuff like that. And what you do is you just flash it like you would a normal ROM. It has to be compatible with the ROM that you already have, and you just load it on top of it. Well, most of those are distributed, you know, on the web, XDA developers or... or uh, the themers website, but a lot of times they have a QR code, a two-dimensional barcode that says, hey, you know, flash this on your phone. Well, you fire up ROM Manager, tap that, it opens up barcode scanner, you scan that that barcode essentially, and it will start downloading that really, really fast. So you don't have to go hunting around, you don't have to type in the URL, you don't have to navigate to it on your, uh, your mobile browser and then try and get that URL in here. So it makes it very easy and convenient to do. So really cool. Next section down is backup and restore. Now, that's pretty self-explanatory. You can manage and restore your backups and backup your current ROM, which is something I always recommend you do before you make a major leap uh, or even a significant leap in your ROMs. So back it up. The backup files are somewhat big, but you know nothing, nothing to be worried about, uh, and they're definitely good insurance for you. Utilities. Fixed permissions. If you have uh, flashed something, uh, and installed some some apps, and all of a sudden, you know things aren't working right. You're getting forced closes and whatnot. It may be a, a permissions mismatch. Tap on that, run it. It takes sometimes five, ten minutes, depending on how much stuff you've got on your phone. Uh, then it's just going to go through and make sure that all the permissions are set properly. Now, of course, we're talking uh, you know Unix, Linux type permissions, uh, stuff that you'd go through and do a, a change mod at a command level. Uh, you know, change mod 0644, change mod 0755, etc., etc. Um, I don't know what all those are, and I definitely don't want to go through and make sure that I've run a change mod on you know four or five thousand files, or even four or five hundred, or even forty or fifty files. This does it all for you. It's relatively fast, painless. If you're running into uh, force close problems, you run that, reboot your phone, your force closes, if it was a permissions issue, are going to go away. Next, partition SD card. Okay. Way back in the early days of CyanogenMod, you wanted to partition your SD card and it was a pain in the neck. You wanted to have uh, your, basically your data partition, which was still FAT32, so it could be read across desktop computers everywhere. And you wanted to have a, a swap partition, or optionally have a swap partition, uh, which held your swap file, or held a, uh, a swap file, because you've already got some swapping going on on the device. But you also had this EXT partition that you could install apps into. And now, you know, that's kind of gone away with the way uh, Froyo does apps to SD, but it's still kind of there. And it's still very convenient because the EXT partition and the swap partition kind of speed things up and they kind of free up your space on your phone, which is another way to speed up your phone. So all in all, it's a good, uh, a good way to add a little bit more speed to your device. However, you want to make sure you do this on a brand new SD card, not on one that has all your stuff on it. Otherwise, you're going to erase everything. So if you want to partition your SD card, which I have and I, I do on all of my SD cards, you want to make sure that you back up everything from that SD card before you go through and do this. And then it's just a very fast process. Because that is a destructive process, I'm not going to show you that today, but just know that you can do it. If you have questions on how to do that or uh, want me to run a video on that, go ahead and uh, and contact me from the, uh, the post over at pocketnow.com that's going to associate with this video. So, moving right along. More recoveries. If you don't like the uh, the Clockwork Mod Recovery and want to put Amon Ra on there, you can do that. Right now, I don't have that available to me to install, but uh, I've done it many times in the past. And then, of course, there's older and experimental versions of uh, Clockwork Recovery that I could go ahead and put on there. So, let's go back to the good stuff. You with me so far? So, with ROM Manager, you're pretty much going to do two things. You're going to download a ROM. So, we'll do this. Let's go into Cyanogen Mod because that's what I'm running. And this is all personalized and customized for the device. It detects what device you're running and it only shows you stuff that's relevant to this device. So you're not going to accidentally install 
a Nexus 1 image, for example, on, uh, on your G2. So, I can come in here and tap on Cyanogen Mod 6.1, which it says is a stable release, and I have done all of these release candidates in the past, which it says are release candidates, so I can tell very quickly, very easily, which one I want to get. To download, I simply tap on it and it downloads. Now, obviously, I'm not going to do that today because that's, you know, 60, 70 megabytes. But I am going to show you the process of flashing it. I've already got it downloaded. So, from here, let's go ahead and install a ROM. Or, you know what, let's go ahead and try that because it should be already downloaded and it shouldn't download again. So, let's see if that's the case. Shows me a screenshot to show me what it's going to look like, which isn't really all that helpful for... Uh, for just ROMs, but it is when you get into themes. Go ahead and download that. It asks me if I want to also install Google Apps because we know that CyanogenMod got a cease and desist letter from Google saying he can't distribute them, so these are mirrored from somebody else who shouldn't be distributing them, and uh, you can just pull them in and install them here. So it, uh, it'll actually flash the CyanogenMod ROM, and then it will flash Google Apps, apps right after that, so very nice. And I have options to back up my existing ROM and wipe data and cache. If I'm going from, say, um, CyanogenMod 6.0 to 6.1, I might want to do the wipe data and cache. Definitely if I'm going from a 5 to a 6 or any, any kind of major jump. In this case, since I'm just overwriting, I don't have to do that. And then if I want to back up my existing ROM, I can do that as well as part of the process. I know this process is going to be okay, so I'm not going to do either one of those. We'll just say okay tells me to press OK to reboot into Clockwork Mod Recovery and continue the installation. Now normally at this point it would download the ROM, but like I said, I've already done this you know, for the sake of time. So it says, oh, you've already got these on here, you don't have to download them. But normally it would do that, it would take you know, half an hour, or an hour, however long it takes, uh, depending on your internet speed and all of the, uh, the traffic that's bogging down between here and there. So what's going to happen now is booting up into that recovery mode. So I've got my HTC screen. This should stay here for about 15-20 seconds. And then there I am, right into the Clockwork Mod Recovery. This, by the way, is version 2.5.1.3. It's waiting for my SD card to mount. And after that, it is going through and installing the... Uh, you can see the name of it right there. The really big, long name of CyanogenMod 6.1.0 that I'm running now. It tells me welcome to it, and this is just the uh, the regular flashing process. You can see my status bar down here hasn't gotten anywhere. This will take, you know, is maybe uh, up to five minutes, sometimes uh, a little bit more than that, sometimes a little bit less. I'm not going to make you suffer through that. I'll pick back up here in a few minutes so you can see the next step in the process. All right, now that process just finished up here. And now we are going through the uh, the Google Apps HDPI. This one's the uh, 2010 November 11th. It goes through and fa flashes those very quickly, and then at that point it reboots the phone. This is a first boot into that new custom ROM, or in this case, uh, flashing the uh, existing custom ROM over itself. So this boot usually takes a little bit of time while it goes through and sets everything up, just like every first boot does. But you can see just right there how fast and easy it was to download, well, first of all, to find a ROM, a custom ROM to update, to download it, to reboot into recovery mode, flash it, flash the Google Apps, and reboot just right there, super, super fast. Uh, very nice. If you want to do any... Uh, any ROM flashing at all, this is really the way to do it. Now, there are two versions of, uh, of the ROM manager. Now, they are both available in the market. Let me go ahead and go back over there. This is a first boot, of course, so things take a while as it's launching the SD card. And we'll just move back over here. Okay, so ROM Manager, two versions. There is the standard version, which will let you do almost everything that uh, you saw me do. There are some things, some menu items that are still in place, but aren't uh, aren't available for you. And it'll prompt you and nag you and say, "Hey, this is only available to premium users. If you want this, go ahead and and, uh, and purchase it." Which I have done for the purpose of this video, and I'm really glad I did. It's going to run you five, six, seven bucks. I forget which, but it's well worth it. Uh, it does come with ads, both versions. Uh, of course, they're turned off in the premium version, but still there if you want to support the developer. Um, 
and then they are turned on and you can't turn them off in the, uh, the standard version. But the standard version lets you do most of the stuff. It doesn't let you automatically check to see if there is an updated ROM, you have to go out and manually check for it. But very, very cool, very nice, especially if, you, uh, if you're like me and you want to keep up to date on the latest stuff. Um, like I said, I went through Bacon Bits, I went through Cyanogen Mod uh, 6.0, 6.1 release candidate, all of them, so that was four, uh, four release candidates, and then finally the stable release, uh, which would take an awful lot of time to find, download, uh, rename, boot up into recovery, blah, blah, blah. just tedious. This makes it fast, easy, and I'm really glad I got it. Uh, it's something that's going to live on all of my phones from here on out. I'd recommend that you do the same if you want to do any kind of this stuff. It is very dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, you know, just especially that uh, partition SD card. You want to kill everything on your card? That's how you do it. Uh, so kind of avoid that. But really cool, kind of high-end, um, but a way to, to make really technical, complex stuff easier for just the normal kind of geeky person, which probably represents the majority of you out there in our audience. Uh, you know, otherwise you wouldn't be here. You'd be at one of those other uh, frou-frou websites, you know, like Apple or something. Anyway, so really cool, really fun. ROM Manager Premium. Go out, download it from the market. If you like this kind of video, if you want to see more of it, please make sure you subscribe to our video channel. We've got a link right down there at the bottom. Go ahead and do that. It's free of charge. Head on over to pocketnow.com to read the article related to this video and other stuff as well. We've got all kinds of articles and videos over there, uh, including breaking news uh, on not just Android, but other mobile devices as well. Uh, so make sure you do that. Give this video a thumbs up, and for Pocket Now, I'm Joe Levi.